A White House woman says at least once a week, people come to her door to pick up an item they bought on Facebook Marketplace. The problem is, she's not the one selling the items. It's a hacker. News Force Marissa Sulik talked with the woman today and joins us now. And Marissa, this is a crazy story. How did it all start? Very crazy, Marius. Yeah, well, it started back in February when Michelle Quinard admits she fell for a scam. And that scam led to a hacker taking over her Facebook account. When Michelle Kleinert hears a knock on her front door every week, it's awful. She knows what to expect. Yeah, he sends people here to my address. People looking for one of two things they saw Michelle selling on Facebook Marketplace. And started putting up posts such as, you know, with the, the puppies, these Yorkie puppies, and with the, um, the PS5. The problem is Michelle isn't the one selling the puppies or game console. She says it's someone who hacked her account months ago. Somehow he got my driver's license, and so he posts that to verify that he's Michelle Keith. I mentally prepare myself to get ready for somebody's going to roll up in my driveway that afternoon. She says before people come to her house, they deposit hundreds, even thousands of dollars in a cash app. Michelle believes that money goes to the hacker. My name means something and they trust that name. Michelle says people in White House know who she is on Facebook. Her daughter Mary battled cancer for five years and Michelle was vocal about it on social media. She passed at 16 and she would have she would have been 21 this year. To help Michelle, we called the number associated with the scammer to see why they are doing this. It's a number they texted her from saying they will give her page back if she gives them $1,000. While they didn't take our call, they texted us saying they promised to give the page back if they get their money. And as soon as you guys leave, I'm throwing the curtains and I'm bolting all my doors. I'm home by myself. My kids are in school. My husband works. It's me here. Now we reached out for Facebook to Facebook for comment, Marius, and we still have not heard back. Let me ask you this. Have you reached out to police? Are they aware of this? We have, and Michelle says there's been at least a dozen of people who don't get what they paid for, and they file these police reports, and I read a few of those today, so police are aware. Marissa.